Good evening from the Henderson and Dustin. We are about to do a chef's table dinner here at Primrose, their signature restaurant, and we could not be more thrilled. This has been a dream of mine on my bucket list. I am such a huge foodie. I admire chefs so much. We watch cooking shows almost every single night. Um, so to be able to be in the kitchen with the chefs, watching them create the food, the art, and all the talent behind it is just, I really don't have words for it. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much to the Henderson for having us out tonight. Uh, we also haven't had a date night since September. Three months. So um, we cannot wait. Let's go in and try some amazing food. I'm excited. There's some things on this menu I've never had before. So let's go check it out. Some, some of the food that we're going to prepare tonight is um, actually a little tasting from all my travels around the world. So you have influences from 17 years in Asia, Hi. between India, Korea, China, and 11 years in Indonesia. Uh, also, I was fortunate enough to, to live and work in France for more than 10 years, and then another three years in Monaco. So it, the dinner is a little bit of like a mad chemist uh, taking it. from here and there and everything. Super excited for it. <laughs> and the presentations, because I firmly believe you not only eat with your taste buds, but with your eyes, so the, mm -hmm. the colors, the textures, and everything need to come out, but without disrespecting Mother Nature. Right. So if you order a scallop, you see you have a scallop. If you order lobster, you know it's lobster. Mm -hmm. And it's not deformed or try to you know, okay. you know, um, change the, the natural state of how it is to make it taste like something else. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really important that, you know, I really want people to come to the chef's table and spend time together. Because too many times when people go for dinner, I see them in the dining room, they're playing on their phones. And exactly. Them. So this is kind of a way of communicating with each other, having um, a great meal, and enjoying life, which is what we all need. We appreciate so much. We're right. so looking forward to this. Thank you so much. My pleasure. You ready? <laughs> yes. All so right. Ready. Let's go. <laughs> This is very much what I call organized chaos. Yes. Because you get to hear the dishwasher, you hear the orders for the cooks, you hear people coming and picking up, asking for things, and then you also get to see us plate, doing the plates, the smells, the noise of the pans, the sauteing, and the knives on the cutting board. So it's it's a full, um, full experience. Full experience. Yeah. Immersive. We yeah. watch we watch cooking shows. Mm -hmm. almost every single night so okay. this has been a dream of mine oh but cool uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled all right <laughs> First course, it's a driftwood smoked scallop with a horseradish cream, like a beurre blanc, topped with some caviar and microgreens. Good? It's the most tender scallop I've ever eaten. Yeah. I'm so excited. You think you need steak, like the aftertaste of the steak? Yeah, it's probably because it's smoked. Yeah. Cool. So good. All right, time for me to tear into this. My scallop disappeared. I don't know what happened to it. 
she'll still work on hers. Oh this is on like any stats I've ever had. I could eat this all day long. Yeah. This is, I'm really picky when it comes to seafood, especially scallops, and I would eat this all day long. The scallop is incredible. It is so cool to be able to watch them plate our food from the table. Next up we have the uh, heirloom tomato salad with burrata cheese, uh, so it's arugula, basil, and a little bit of balsamic, and local honey drizzled on top. That honey is probably awesome in there. You know, I normally don't put honey in my salad. Delicious. That ties it all together. Mm -hmm. Here is our third course. This is lobster cooked in pure butter with a citrus paste, uh, Balinese black sea salt, and radish. Mm. That's good too. Sweet. So I just want to appreciate something for a second. It's like the perfect claw meat. Like, got all of it out without busting it up. Look at that. Like, man, <laughs> this is so cool. I'm so shiny. This is the fourth course. This is roasted grouper with Thai basil couscous. And uh, with some mushrooms on there. But this whole preparation is you taste the freshness of the fish. And then afterwards, you go right into a little bit of the sauce, the mushrooms, and it just kind of blends real nice together. And then the thing I really enjoy is the chiffonado with a Thai pepper basil on it. It gives it a whole other flavor. Awesome. Okay? Enjoy. Thank you. I love grouper. It's so good. We are about to get our fifth course and then dessert. Everything has been exceptional so far and we absolutely love talking to Chef. He's sharing all these personal stories with us of his travels and just all these really neat stories and experiences and why he loves what he's doing. And so, oh, here we go. We're getting something else. I have a little surprise for you. Uh -oh. Don't drink it though. So this is the fifth course. This is prime beef tenderloin with roasted eggplant, whole shallots, mustard seed, you can see on top there, and the ponzu, which they make in house. Alright, I have like tears in my eyes, but it I just can't believe I'm getting to do this right now. That's a good problem. So good. Here's our dessert. This is a cranberry orange mousse dome with cranberry coulis, meringue, white chocolate mousse, and a gluten-free orange spice cake underneath, I'm assuming. And uh, it's like Thanksgiving and Christmas on a plate. And this is so damn good. So this top layer is like a really rich chocolate. And this pastry chef is the, the same pastry chef that created the gingerbread house last year. And these like edible flowers, this whole thing is so good. Michelle, who never really has a sweet tooth, is goo goo gaga over this one. Yeah, yeah, we, we'll take home some steak, but we're gonna eat this whole dessert. I love the spice in it. Yeah, the spice and the cake. So this is effectively an appetizer followed by a salad, followed by an appetizer, followed by two entrees, followed by a dessert. And the whole time you get to see the madness of the kitchen as they're preparing other orders for the restaurant on the other side of this window. Uh, they serve the bar and also the terrace, I believe. So I think pretty much anywhere you can order food in here, this kitchen is putting it out and they're doing an incredible job. Nobody's screaming at each other. And the chef, he's managing all his all his sous chefs, um, and he's talking to us. And this is incredible. Chef Gary has been all around the world, lived in other countries for over a decade, um, just sharing in these incredible stories and all these things that have inspired the dishes that he puts together now. And 
he's Buddhist and it's it's just this really incredible experience. So I I'm blown away by this. So this is something Michelle and I've been wanting to do and you know, fate would have it that we're doing it here at Primrose at the Henderson and I can honestly say this is one of the best meals, one of the best experiences and most unforgettable things that I personally have ever done and I'm sure I speak for Michelle that that's the case as well. Namaste. Namaste. Thank you so much. Unreal. Prost. Thank y'all so, so much. Thank you. So much. We appreciate everything. It's incredible. Yeah, we did. God bless you guys. It, it, show, it shows in everything y'all have done how much y'all care. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, we've never had an experience like this before, and we hope that each and every one of you gets to experience something like this in your lives. The chef's table was... It was so cool, especially for someone who really appreciates the art of creating food and the intentional purpose of making it all come together with the team. All the flavors involved, all of the orchestrating involved, it's just its so cool. But for me, I have to say that the first and the last parts of the menu were my favorite. So starting off with the scallops, ending with the holiday dessert, like that's what I remember the most about this. I absolutely adored the scallops. They were the best scallops I've ever had in my life. And the dessert, I never have a sweet tooth. <laughs> I ate the entire thing. Licked it clean. Chef Gary Palm, I could listen to your stories all day and we can't wait to come back and hear more of them and document more of them and share more of them. They are so cool. I feel really honored to have been able to dine in Primrose Kitchen tonight. Thank you so much for having us. It was an unforgettable, delectable dinner tonight. Yeah. I mean, I... I've always kind of had this thing with seafood, and that's gotten a lot better since we moved to Florida. We've been here for two and a half years now. The seafood here is just so much different than it is in New Orleans. It just tastes better. But scallops and lobster are two things that, like, never really caught on for me. The scallops were unreal. I would eat those scallops all day, every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It was an awesome experience, and, you know, it's, it's something that's been on our bucket list. And... While we've kicked it off the bucket list, uh, we'll definitely be doing this again at some point. It's a hidden gem in this area that is, is easy to overlook in what's otherwise a very touristy town. So it was an incredible experience and we're so grateful to have been here and to, to share it together. If you're a local or a tourist, it's a great new experience to try out. It helps connect us all to more intentional and mindful eating and living, which we're all about. Being in the midst of the kitchen, watching them plate it, watching the care that goes into how they handle the food, watching how they interact with one another, having the chef share the stories, just makes it so much more special. It adds this complete other element to the experience of dining. And it was like Michelle said, it was just this, it forces you to be more intentional about it, and it's it's an incredible offering that they share here. Happy holidays. Take care, everyone. Sign off. Sign off.